Hey guys, did you ever feel like the effects of the transformations in Isaac are a bit underwhelming, especially for how hard some of them are to get? If that's the case, then the mod Transformations Plus might be perfect for you. It buffs 12 out of the game's 14 transformations and this video will showcase them all. Let's start with Beelzebub. Getting this transformation with the mod active will grant you a temporary damage buff while you are standing next to any poop obstacle. The closer you are to the poop, the bigger the damage buff will be, ranging from just plus 0.10 at max range up to plus 3 if you are standing directly next to or even on the poop. The damage boost will even work on destroyed poops, so you don't have to be afraid to accidentally shoot them down. Multiple poops won't grant additional damage buffs if stacked together. Next up is the Bob transformation. Getting it will now also turn all blue flies you get from any source into green locusts which will poison your enemies on hit. The poison will hit them two times for 100% of your tier damage each. This means the transformation basically doubles the damage of your flies against non-boss enemies. On top of that, the Bob transformation will also turn all regular black flies you touch into even more green flies for you. Keep in mind that those flies don't deal any contact damage to you. The Bookworm transformation also got a really flavorful buff. Each time an enemy dies, there's a 10% chance to spawn a charmed small maggot enemy that will fight for you until it dies. The maggots will persist between rooms and try to charge at your enemies with their respectable contact damage of 6 per hit, while being quite tanky themselves. It is also important to note that the charmed enemies still count as enemies. This means that each maggot also has the 10% chance to instantly replace itself in death. The bookworm transformation is not the only one that gets an effect for killed enemies though. Conjoint also grants a 10% chance of spawning a baby pickup on each kill. Collecting one of them will spawn a random familiar for the duration of the current room. It can be any familiar in the game that is able to fight, even a temporary baby plum from the plum flute item. However, keep in mind that you can't bring them over to other rooms. You should pick them up as soon as they spawn to help you in combat before becoming useless. There are two more transformations that do something when you kill enemies. The fun guy is one of them and grants a 10% chance to spawn a mushroom pickup each time. Collecting one of these special pickups will cause your character to shoot a random tier effect in random directions for 8 seconds. This effect will stay the same on all shots. Picking up a second mushroom while the first one is still active will reset the 8 seconds timer and add a second tier effect. This can lead to fun chain reactions if you are lucky with the mushroom drops. And just to make this clear, the random shots will be fired automatically without you needing to fire yourself. You can still fire your own regular tiers whenever you want. There is a total of 46 possible tier effects you can get, which is basically everything in the game. This ability will finally make the fun guy transformation live up to its name. The last new ability to add a kill reward was given to the spun transformation. In this case, by granting a 10% chance on each kill to spawn a special syringe pickup. Collecting a syringe will grant you a boost in a random stat that will last for a total of 8 seconds, even if you leave the room. Collecting a second one buffs another stat and resets the timer. This basically allows you to create huge chain pickups just like with the mushrooms, if you are either lucky or if you leave some of the syringes on the ground for later. It is up to you if you want to instantly use them for a small boost or if you want to leave them all on the ground and collect all of them at once to get a huge boost for the floor boss. Either way, I think the buff given to the spun transformation is a cool way to add an effect to its addiction scene. Next up is the Leviathan transformation. On top of its usual flight into black hearts, it will now also summon a charmed imp for you when you collect a new black heart. Just as with any other charmed enemy, the imps will stay with you between rooms and last until death. They rapidly fire at enemies and deal a respectable 6 damage per shot. Up to the Seraphim transformation, which has a similar effect to the Leviathan, but in this case you will get a charmed angelic baby whenever you collect a soul heart. 
On top of that, collecting an eternal heart will spawn a bigger and stronger angelic baby that shoots a volley of three tiers at once. All shots of the babies deal six damage to enemies. Both the Leviathan Imps as well as the Seraphim Angels are actually quite sturdy and will support you for a long time. Just make sure not to blow them up by accident. It is now time to talk about what I think is the most disappointing transformation for how rare it is. Oh crap. This one got multiple new effects in the mod to make it more interesting. First of all, each time you destroy a brown or corny poop, there's a 25% chance to spawn a poop pickup. The chance is increased to 50% if you have the petrified poop trinket. Collecting a poop pickup will spawn a random dip or locust familiar to support you. They can be any type spawned from the locust trinkets or the dirty mind item. But there are even more new effects for our crap. For example, each time you destroy a white or black poop, you will gain half a soul heart or black heart respectively. Standing next to a golden poop will grant you the ability to shoot coin tiers that make you spawn money when you hit enemies, while standing next to a rainbow poop will make you shoot with random tier effects and colors. Keep in mind that all of these effects require some sort of poop on the ground to work. The transformation will still be mostly useless in the endgame, but it is way more interesting like this. Next up is the Spider Baby transformation, which will buff your blue spider familiars by causing them to shoot out 4 tiers in an X pattern when they touch an enemy. Each tier deals 100% of your tier damage and can even hit the same target that your spider died to. Bigger targets can also get hit by multiple tiers with the right angle. Another interesting buff in the mod was given to the Stompy transformation. It will cause your character to shoot out rock tiers in random directions when touching an enemy. The rocks will come out at a very fast rate if you keep contact with your enemy. Each rock will deal 100% of your tier damage despite the usual random damage range of the Terra item. This transformation effect will always work, even if you wouldn't take damage yourself. This makes it synergize really well with any effect that grants invulnerability or a shield. And finally, we come to the Yes Mother transformation. The mod buffs it by granting a 15% chance to activate a High Priestess card when entering an uncleared room. In case you didn't know, Mom's foot will always stomp down on the enemy with the highest health in the room and deals 300 damage to it. You have no control over when the transformation effect triggers, but it will still help you a lot throughout the run. As you can see right here, I used the Mercurius item for the showcase. This means the effect can trigger any time you enter an uncleared room, not only the first time you do so. And that's it for all the buffs in the Transformations Plus mod. The only one, besides Guppy for obvious reasons, that wasn't buffed is the adulthood. How could that one be changed? Any ideas? I really hope you enjoyed this mod showcase, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Either way, I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son His flowing down from heaven